mechanism of action of beta-lactam antibiotics, is inhibition of bacterial cell wall synthesis. Let's see how it happens. A gram-positive bacterial cell wall consists of plasma membrane made up of lipid bilayer and proteins. Outer to plasma membrane is peptidoglycan layer. Peptidoglycan is a polymer made of N-acetylmeramic acid, alternating with N-acetylglucosamine. In gram-positive bacteria the peptidoglycan layer is very thick, consisting of many strands. The lipotychoic acid anchors the peptidoglycan layers to the lipid bilayer. Proteins called transpeptidase enzymes helps in cross-linking of the peptidoglycan strands, which is essential for the stability and rigidity of the bacterial cell wall. The transpeptidases are also called penicillin binding proteins. The beta-lactam antibiotics which contain beta-lactam ring, binds to the penicillin binding proteins. Thus cross-linking of peptidoglycan strands is interfered. When susceptible bacteria divide in the presence of a beta-lactam antibiotic, cell wall deficient forms are produced. As the interior of the bacteria is hyperosmotic, the bacteria swell and burst. Thus beta-lactams are bactericidal. Gram-negative bacterial cell wall also consists of plasma membrane, but the peptidoglycan layer is very thin. In addition to the plasma membrane, there is another outer lipid bilayer. It contains porins and lipopolysaccharides. Lipopolysaccharides are specific to gram-negative bacteria. It is also known as endotoxins. As gram-negative bacteria, has outer membrane, and a thin peptidoglycan layer, with few cross-linkings. They are less susceptible to beta-lactam antibiotics. Let's see how the bacteria develops resistance to the beta-lactam antibiotics. First is by production of beta-lactamase enzymes. It opens up the beta-lactam ring in the antibiotic. So it cannot bind to the penicillin binding proteins. Thus the bacteria are resistant to beta-lactams. The second mechanism is by production of altered penicillin binding proteins. It has low affinity for beta-lactams, so there is less inhibition of penicillin binding proteins. Thus the bacteria are resistant to beta-lactams. But resistance via beta-lactamers can be overcome by combining the beta-lactams with beta-lactamers inhibitors. There are three beta-lactamers inhibitors available for clinical use. They are clavulanic acid, sulbactam and tazobactam. Let's see the antimicrobial spectrum of beta-lactam antibiotics. Penicillin is a narrow-spectrum antibiotic. It is potent primarily against gram-positive organisms. It inhibits only a few gram-negative organisms. Extended spectrum penicillins like ampicillin and amoxicillin, are active against all organisms sensitive to penicillin. In addition, it inhibits many gram-negative bacilli like Haemophilus influenza, Helicobacter pylori, Escherichia coli, Salmonella, Shigella and Proteus. Piperacillin is also an extended spectrum penicillin. It is an antipseudomonal penicillin. It also inhibits Klebsiella and anaerobic organisms. Cephalosporins are chemically related to penicillins. The nucleus consists of a beta-lactam ring fused to a dihydrothiazine ring. Cephalosporins are chronologically divided into four generations. But more importantly, the division takes into consideration of antibacterial spectrum, as well as potency. The first generation drugs are mostly active against gram-positive organisms. The second generation drugs are more active against gram-negative organisms, except pseudomonas. The third generation drugs are also more active against gram-negative organisms. In addition it is active against pseudomonas. It should be observed that, as the generation goes up, 
the gram positive coverage decreases and the gram negative coverage increases. The fourth generation drugs are beta lactamase resistant and it is a potent anti pseudomonal agent. Let's see about other beta lactam antibiotics. Monobactams are beta lactam antibiotic without the other ring. Hence it is called monobactam. Astrionam has no gram positive coverage. It is active against gram negatives aerobes, like amino glycosides, and it is beta lactamase resistant. Carbapenems like imipenem and meropenem are extremely potent broad spectrum beta lactam antibiotics. It has gram positive, gram negative, and anaerobic coverage. It is resistant to most beta lactamases, but not active against MRSA. And this video concludes here. Let's meet you in another video covering a different antibiotic group of drugs. If you enjoyed the video please like, share and subscribe.